is a song I wrote called Eight Parts, which is 403rd Freak Out. I hope you like it. Well, sometimes I think we're already dead, or this trap that I call time is just some inception like dream state I'm in as I lay down. I think maybe we never existed at all We're just some five sensed hallucinations Or just the mirror image of a higher reality Beyond our comprehension And I lie awake at night And I can't keep my mind from wondering About what it all means That I have the ability to wonder what it all means Do you know that nobody in this whole wide world Can give you the definition of consciousness that doesn't venture off into religion or some kind of absurdist pseudoscience. And since I started listening to both sides without caring on to which side I fell, well, I found out that there were more than two sides if you really want to know a subject well, which only led me to more heartbreak as I thought about all the fights that haven't been started by two sides and neither one of them were truly wrong or right. Consider the brutality that I witness every day And how numb to the sight of human suffering I've become in my middle age Cause all the fascists and the commies is spewing out their dogmas And taking over the conversation And any voice that's devoid of an agenda Has been removed from consideration And I started thinking about the weapons of mass destruction Biological, chemical, and nukes That we could have them all fired from push of a button of an orange presidential buffoon and so I started reading up on how to survive a nuclear apocalypse and after my research I concluded I didn't even want to survive to live in a world like that. So even if I try to be positive and convince myself someday we could actually have peace, well it's then that I realize in like a billion years or so this planet's gonna cease to be cause the sun has gravity too you know being pulled in as we orbit and if we don't find a way to destroy ourselves then the sun's gonna do it for us and so la 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 turn off your mind oh la 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 turn off your mind oh la 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 turn off your mind because of that Devil's play. explorers and the greatest amongst us all who gave their lives to learning and research and made great discoveries about the world and then it occurred to me that all truth exists long before some learned man makes it known I mean if you think about it it don't equal MC squared just cause Einstein said it was so now considering this science kind of seems like a waste I'll just devote myself to art at least an artist creates something of value, a unique representation of his heart. And then I looked around at this plastic world and their frowning faces and their disdain for beauty. And I saw all the poor starving artists dwelling at the fringes of a cold society. But you know that we would not have fur release if it were not for an individual named Beethoven. And we would certainly not have the White Album if Paul McCartney never met John Lennon. And I said, well, maybe that's my problem. I miss my Lennon. Somehow that chance done passed me by. And that's the reason I'm sitting here singing this stupid song and losing my freaking mind. And then even this stranger thought my tortured mind began to ponder. Lord, I wonder if Einstein met McCartney first while John Lennon studied the great wonders. I mean, I ain't saying it would have been the Beatles, man, but it'd been interesting to see what they put out because I know that Einstein had some pretty cool hair, but I wonder if he could twist and shout. And maybe if Einstein had been singing, oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, die, 
Instead of drafting the letter to Roosevelt that paved the way for a nuclear bomb, then a little boy from Nagasaki could have married a pretty young girl from Hiroshima, and they could have sang old blah dee blah da together and taught their children songs by the Beatles. And I can imagine that the guy that wrote Imagine would have been any use in a science lab, lest that lab had the sole purpose of giving world peace a chance. So we gotta give a minute to science, and I McCartney. We gotta find a way to get back in time But then I realized if we ever build a time machine It'll be based on the scientific work of Albert Einstein